Welcome, my fearless friends. Hey there, and hi, here's Voidusk. And yeah, I'm gonna play the Stanley Parable. I don't know which part it is already, but uh, we are going to finish this game. Yeah, that's what I want today. I want to finish this bitch. So, I know that I last time uh, exploded everything. It was fun. But let's go to serious business. Let's finish this and then we will see how it is when I press the off button. So if I switch the whole mind control facility down, that's what I'm gonna do right now when this loading is done and it's already taking too long. Come on loading button, uh, loading bar, give it. Why, what? Why, why, why it's taking so long? Need some help? Can I push somehow? No? It's taking too much time. I will just run through all of this uh, shit if you want to hear the conversations from before. Just watch the parts before. I will just run to the ending. This is the. I guess. Good! Okay. Hello, my office number 427. Let's run! But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. Uh oh. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. I'm not. Nothing will hurt me. I cannot Nothing go out anymore. What the fuck? In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Oh yeah, I can make some crunches. By, Let's do some no crunches. He no longer had the ability to tell. <laughs> but the one <laughs> thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long <laughs> enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Um, now narrator, it's just a little bit closer. You can let me out now, now okay? Now it's even closer. You, Here it comes. What? I think I was fucked. That was it. Was this an ending? What the hell? Holy shit. This the was meeting. an ending. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. What is this? Awaiting input. And now? Oh, you have received an input. Congratulations. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yes, I did. Can you run, Stanley? Yeah, I would there was not shit a single you run, person here. You know, like feeling a faster wave of disbelief. Stuff like that. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. He stepped Amazing. into the newly opened passageway. Yes, I did. And now I will also go down with this super modern lift here. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind, mind control, control Facility. facility. Let's control mind. Oh, horrible to There's mine. Had Stanley There's been under someone's control all this time? Ooh, was this the only reason he was happy with his body? Walking, Good, let's eating, check what will working, happen when all of it I press the and off button this very and place. shut this and whole shit down. as the cold reality down. of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power Goodbye. over another human life. Interesting, interesting. Is it again something totally confusing and blackness and a rising chill logic. of uncertainty? Was it over? Yes, he had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, 
Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had Did his I? co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking. Oh look, how beautiful. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand. Oh to nice. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Door? This is a fucking gate. Or whatever. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Beat the game. I've beaten you. I'm get but 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 no credits or something, I'm just here again. This is crap. Alright, I think this game is beaten, but I'm very sure that there are still enough secrets here. So, because I were not able, but wait, one, one th more thing, because I, I, I somehow, those screens where I needed to put gone. in the input. What could it mean? Let's let's Stanley try this. Decided to go to the Is this something? Room. Perhaps he had I simply missed the memo. There, ha! Huh. Input number two. I bet I need to restart it again. Let's let's do this. All of his coworkers First, gone. I want to see what, what happens. Could it mean? Oh. Input number three. What could it mean? Stanley Aha. decided to go to the meeting room. In Perhaps he had simply four. missed a memo. Hey. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his okay. co-work. And... Input number five. Welcome, Stanley. To heaven. Kidding me? This is heaven? I'm in a very small room and all the buttons with different colors are revolving around me. What the hell? Did you call this heaven, Stanley? God! And now what? Do I need to press all the buttons or what? You know what's funny? The buttons are reactivating again, so I can. Yes, that's heaven. So I have. I'm Stanley and I'm pressing buttons, and heaven would be for me to press buttons the eternity. Well, that's what I get. You get what you wish for. Wow. Yes. Awesome. Really awesome. Yeah. Go to hell. Go to your heaven. I don't care. Alright, so. So far. Good. We, uh. I think we found what we were able to find. 
but since they are a bet still enough secrets here, I will do some research. And of course I want to show all the endings. So I guess I will still put some endings in this episode here. And then there will be a bonus episode where I summarize everything, okay? Good. So see you in a second. Alright, here I am again and I found something. Uh, in the very Stanley first episode, to to the I were to often uh, going he into the right well, door and then into the um, stop talking narrator, so shut up, I'm talking right now. So I went Stanley always into the right to door, to open. This was not the correct and here room. I and will Stanley reach an elevator well, in uh, perhaps this... Perhaps he um, wanted to stop by the employee. Yeah, when I come Stanley here, so bad at following directions, and it's use the elevator to cross... I'm not your this. Enemy, really. Yeah. No. Um, I realize that investing in your I will come in someone else into a room with a telephone. The fact is that the story has been about and nothing but the you very first episode, I guess, time. I picked up the telephone. Someone you've been it's possible to achieve a different ending by about. not picking up the telephone, Please. but Stop unplug trying the to telephone. Make every decision by yourself. Interesting. I'm so not asking for I will me. check this now. Out. I'm asking. Oh my shit! That's her, Stanley. Oh no 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 no! You can't. Did you just unplug the phone? Now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, I'm sorry. It's definitely here, clear as day. I, I really, Stanley picks I really up the phone. To. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. <laughs> did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. Did I confuse I you, narrator? Sooner? I'm sorry. You're not Stanley. That You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. What are you talking about? Choice. It's what? the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. Okay. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Yes. Or he right. could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking Fish. to a person <laughs> who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Oh, that's nice. I can practice now. To make the right choices. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis I, I is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? Probably. No. And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. <laughs> At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You okay. may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. 
Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. What is... what's the matter? Oh, well, only the room is different. I, I mean, this is okay. Right? There's no problem here. I see absolutely nothing. Oh, this is also different. There is no... I cannot fall down anymore. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense. Makes at all. totally sense. Yes. We just need to get you home as soon as possible. So before it was before okay to kill me, right? You bitch. Worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Can I fall down here? Oh, you're saving my life. Oh, so friendly. Mr. Narrator, I, I, I begin to like you somehow. Can I close the door? No, I cannot close the door. Well then, where are we? It's nothing new. It's just the way back. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Alright. Who wants to be home and free in the real world? Now remember, yeah. all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. Um, <clears throat> um, when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, okay, okay. he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, oh. hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps oh. we're not too late. Oh, I'm so sorry. What the hell? This is this is crap. What? That's employee number seven million thousand V eight. What the hell? Something. Okay, okay. It's not too late. Come on, I will go here now. Okay. Is satisfied? Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe mm. after everything we talked about that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. <laughs> What's the answer? What do <laughs> I'm, I do? I'm so sorry. What do I do? What do I really? I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. No, you I don't. I have to. What are you doing? Stop it! You were so clever. Now look where we are. My it entire looks... game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Uh -oh. Yes, I like destroying <sighs> things, by the way. So if you'd just gone through the door on the left, fun. you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. ...behave exactly as Stanley would. 
That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow ah. my lead and you'll be fine. All Am right. I looping now? <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm looping now, right? No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. I'm always when following your lead. When Stanley came to a set Narrator, of two open always. doors, he entered the door on his left. I have been following your lead since I started the game. Can't you remember? Oh, this looks not completely Yet there broken. There's not a right single now. person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I, I do. Um, this doesn't look like my boss's office. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. With a voice and receiver. All probability, he knew the passcode. Okay. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. Night Shark 119? Nine and one, then spoke the code. Night Shark? 119? Bullshit! I cannot... <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. <laughs> I'm sorry, is there a problem? Yes. You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Night Shark okay, 115. Fine. You're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need <laughs> you to make a choice. <laughs> the end. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Stanley! Can you hear me? Is everything alright? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. Well, it's now only you know. Stanley. It seems I like he's... The story needs him. To... So, you hear me? I don't know. Yeah. You listening Nervous to, to make yeah. decisions, maybe? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Hello? 
Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Good. I would say this is enough for this uh, for this video. I hope you liked it. It was not so confusing this time. It was quite interesting with this ending here. And I think the next the next uh, the next video I will make about the Stanley Parable will be a bonus video where I will combine all the secrets and endings to show you everything I found out about this game. I liked it very much. It was a great game even if it's old right now, old. And uh, everybody who likes to play it and was watching my videos, I'm sorry that I spoiled everything for you and I will spoil everything for you in the next video. But you are free to discuss with me in the comments and uh, if you liked it then leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe. I will see you then in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, you're White Dusk.